Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. We're here again at the Alice Ferguson Foundation of Hard Bargain Farm. I'm Zeke, and, and we're going to have a little fun with Miss Eileen again. Yeah, remember how we milked those cows? If you didn't see that video, go ahead and check it out. It's cow milking. And um, we're going to go ahead and see what else we can do with milk. You know, all the cream and, and butter and making all that wonderful stuff. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fun. So we're going to head down to the farm and check out with Miss Eileen and see what she's got going. All right, so right now, Miss Eileen's taking that milk that we just milked from the cows, and she's going to filter it and, and, and explain why she filters it and then what happens. All right, Miss Eileen, thanks for uh, having us back. Okay, we're almost so, finished. So this is all the milk that we got? Yes. Okay, all right. So all you're right. going to... You can't see. I see a speck of something in there, and I also see a hair. She's, there's a hair in there? She's starting to shed. Spring is here. Yeah, there's a hair right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can see it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, nothing bad, but I would like to filter it out. All right. So, so we're going to take a look in here, and it, that's the filter. Uh-huh. Oh, all right. Just kind of a... Thick piece of paper. And that that's a nice glass jar you got. Oh, yeah. It's a pickle jar. So I just pour the milk through it. The milk is nice and warm. And as the milk runs through, that piece of paper stops the little hair and the other little speck, maybe skin or something. And then from here, the what? milk will go into the refrigerator. Not oh, and then we're going to go ahead and put it in the fridge? Yes. All right. And, it'll, and then it's going to separate, right? Yes. It takes a few hours, but we'll talk about that, too. And by separate, what you're meaning is that the cream or the fat in the milk comes to the top and forms a separate layer. Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome back. We got uh, Miss Eileen here with us again. Hello, Miss Eileen. Hello. All right, so today we're going to talk about milk and what you can do with milk, right? Yes. All right, so how are we going to start this? Well, the cows are gone, and we have a gallon of milk here from yesterday. Oh, that's yesterday's milk? Is yes. that That's the one that you uh, we, we watched you do, right? Right, yesterday. And it's nice and cold, but it has been sitting overnight, and I hope you can see that from here up, Looks a slightly different color. All right, let me get a little closer and see if see if we can get this from here. Oh yeah, up a little yellowish, and then down here is looks a little different. It's a little clear, yeah. So the fat in the milk. All cows have fat in their milk, otherwise known as cream. Sounds better, doesn't it? It does. So Jerseys have a lot of cream. That makes really good ice cream, I would assume. Oh, it does. It does. It does. So. You can make lots and lots of things from milk. So first of all, just the cream makes many, many good things. Butter is one. Butter. Mm -hmm. Sour cream is another. Um, 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 whipped cream is another. Cream cheese. So all of that is made from just the cream. And it used to be a long time ago that when you made butter, you also got butter milk. So here's a little dish. I took a jar of cream yesterday. That's cream in there, just, uh -huh. just this part, and shook it. But you get butter after shaking, and you get a milky looking stuff, and that's buttermilk. That's buttermilk? Yeah. Huh. So you can make biscuits with that, you can make pancakes with buttermilk, and then put butter on top after you bake your biscuits. Well, now, now Miss Eileen, you're making me hungry. <laughs> So to get the cream off, what I do is use a little bit of muscle. Got a little pressure to it. Well, when you put it in there warm and then it cools off, um, it pulls the top down. So I use this as like a soup ladle. Uh-huh. And I can dip the cream off carefully. Oops. Okay. 
without getting any of the milk below. And ladies used to do this with a big spoon or something like a ladle, and that was called skimming the milk. Uh -huh. So even to this day, milk that has no fat in it, no cream in it, is called skim milk. Oh, that's that's very interesting fact. I never I never realized that. Yeah. So then they start putting a small amount of fat back into some of the skim milk, and they can sell that as one percent, a little bit more to satisfy those who want a little bit more, two percent. Regular whole milk is standardized as well. That's three point two five percent. Now I see on the on the regular whole milk, the one you just pointed to, it says pasteurized. What what exactly is pasteurized? Pasteurized. That is a process for killing bacteria, and it was invented by Louis Pasteur about 150 years ago, and so his idea was to control bacteria in milk. Bacteria like to get into milk because there's a sugar in there that they like to eat called lactose. He tried using heat to kill the bacteria. So if you heat milk up, and he went as high as 142 degrees, and then kept it there for 30 minutes, and then cooled it down, and it made the milk last longer because it killed almost all of the bacteria that had gotten into the milk. That's interesting. So that process is still done today, and it's called pasteurizing. Huh. So you have, that's his last name, and you see this word on every carton of milk. So we are, we could make all kinds of things with this. If I just put it in a bowl and whip it, you'd instantly have whipped cream. Um, it's a little harder to make cheese and sour cream and that kind of thing, but it's very easy. People used to make butter for their families all the time by just shaking it. I'm not going to shake this, but you get the idea. Yeah, so you can just shake it and it'll turn into butter? Yes. But, yeah, I'm assuming you got to shake it a long time, though. Oh, 10 minutes, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, when you have kids here, is that something you guys do? Oh, yes. Every group makes, makes some butter. So oh. pretty soon after all the kids take a turn shaking, sometimes they have to have two turns, suddenly you'll see a ball of butter in there, along with buttermilk. Well, that's very cool. Well, all right, Miss Eileen. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off now. But well, we really appreciate this little lesson you taught us today on pasteurization and, and all the uses and things that milk is used for. Um, and hopefully, maybe we'll get back over here to see you guys again. I, I do have to go see Dot and Dash. So, we got to have a little conversation. I think they ate my homework. <laughs> all right, Miss Eileen. Well, thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. All right, we'll see you soon. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good day. Oh my goodness, that was just fantastic. We learned a lot today, didn't we, guys? Learned about pasteurization, cheese making, butter making. Oh, it's just wonderful. And did you know milk can make ice cream? Oh, I'm so excited. I love ice cream. Look at Dot and Dash behind us. They're sitting there just mowing all that grass. All right, guys, well, this is Zeke. Make sure you tune in next week where we're going to do seed starting with this gentleman named Mr. Bill. He's another wealth of knowledge here at the Alice Ferguson Foundation. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be a good time. We'll see you guys then. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. <laughs>